Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I do all things baby. Today I'll be doing my newborn's essential. What best way to start the holidays in doing a newborn's essential? Something that you can gift a family member that's expecting, a coworker, a friend. Uh, these 10 items that I will mention are my holy grail. They will be my holy grail for my next baby for sure. I've heard so many good reviews from each and every product I've used. At the end of this video, I'll mention five nice to have, but they're not must have. You will survive without them. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Item number one, Avon Pacifier. This Avon Pacifier was a must have. Uh, Olivia didn't take any wood pacifiers, any organic pacifiers. She didn't take any other pacifiers except these ones. Uh, I noticed because they're, it's so smooth and because she was teething at such an early age that this was perfect for her to chew on. Uh, when she stopped sucking on the nipple, she would just chew around it. I believe they run for five bucks, so they're fairly inexpensive. If the, your baby doesn't end up not liking it, you can always gift it away or throw it away. This is a perfect gift for stocking, so get on this, guys. Really inexpensive. The second item, this item got me through very, very long nights. That will be the baby shisher. This baby shisher is a must have. It is not even a question. This is perfect. It's portable. It shishes your baby to sleep. It shishes you to sleep. I'm telling you, this is a must have. So what I've noticed is that babies like to be shushed. Any other baby, not only my baby, my friend's baby, any baby that I grabbed and I just started shushing, it was such a soothing sound for them that it completely stopped their crying. Uh, they fell asleep. When I was rocking Olivia to sleep or whenever I was trying to put her to sleep while feeding her, I always used to shush at her. But shushing after 15 minutes can get you dizzy. Trust me, I've been there. So what I did was Google uh, shushers or shushing sounds or whatnot. And I found this baby shusher. The name says it all. It shushes your baby to sleep. It has, I believe, from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. You can adjust the volume. You can always turn it back on after 30 minutes. Uh, it was really great. The third item I will mention will be this electrofan noise canceling machine. This noise machine with the shisher are part of my uh, nighttime routine essentials for my baby. I will be making another video on that on how I got my baby to sleep through the night. This uh, white noise machine, essentially what it does, it cuts down any noise, any outside noise. You can have a party, you can be watching movies really, really loud, you can be vacuuming, you can wash dishes, you can do whatever you want. Your baby will not wake up because this noise machine will cancel it. This has a lot of fan sound. So just Google this name, put it on YouTube. You will hear a lot of fan sounds that it has. Uh, you can also purchase it at Best Buy, I believe. Yeah, you can purchase it at Best Buy. If you don't like it, you can always return it. Um, white noise machines have proven to improve sleep, not only baby sleep, but adult sleep. So whenever Olivia sleeps with us, I bring this um, to a room, it's portable. Just turn it there and believe me, I sleep better with this noise machine. This one runs about 50 bucks. So it's a bit more on the pricier side, but it's completely worth it. I do recommend it 100%. The fourth item will be this Angel Care bath support. So I tried another type of bath support, which was little tub with uh, mesh in the middle. I hated that. I did not like that at all. Olivia didn't like that. So I I switched to this. This one says from zero to six months. I stopped using this once Olivia started uh, sitting on her own because she will literally sit on the edge and throw herself out whenever she saw a toy. So it just became dangerous after a while. I'll be doing a bath time routine so you guys can see everything I use for my baby right now and what I've used from the beginning. But this is essentially a must-have. It's fairly inexpensive. It's 30 bucks, so it's perfect to gift a relative that's expecting or a co-worker that's expecting. Number five will be these pajamas. I believe the brand is Zippy Pajamas. I'm not sure if this is a Canadian brand, but I will link it down below. All the items that I'm mentioning, I will link it down below so you guys can easily click on it and purchase it if you like. These pajamas... Do yourself a favor if you're an expecting mother or if you have a friend that's expecting, gift them one of these. It is a complete life changer. Um, you can zip 
it down from up here down so you can put your baby in and then it has a zipper in the bottom right here the reason why they put a zipper in the bottom is when you're changing your baby in the early mornings and you don't want to wake that baby up because believe me it is not easy and it's not fun always putting your baby to sleep at a very early um, time so this was perfect whenever I wanted to change my baby's diaper. I will just unzip in the bottom, change the baby. She won't even know that she's being changed because it's not that you're like taking all the clothes away. Um, so this was perfect. I got this from Olivia's memory box. I'm doing a little memory box for her. I should put this in uh, an essential memory box. It's really nice to keep really sentimental items uh for your baby i remember this is the first pajama we put olivia in the hospital and i remember being so huge this one is a zero three months she started using zero three months after two weeks so this is a must-have i pulled out one pajama that she's using right now she's using nine to twelve months even though she's eight months let me just show you guys a comparison look at this guys can you guys believe how huge my baby is? Honestly, guys, cherish every moment with your babies because they grow so fast. So the brand Zippy Pyjamas also has a option to buy the pyjamas without the feet. So if your baby's particularly longer than the usual, you can always buy these pyjamas. After six months, they do include the um, kind of like the sticky part in, underneath the pyjama and, and the feet because when your babies are trying to stand up, you don't want them to be slipping all the time. That way they don't get discouraged of trying to get up. Uh, even though Olivia's crawling right now, she's trying to stand up, which is a huge achievement. And now that it has those sticky things in the bottom, she literally grabs her feet and tries like, um, I think it's called downward position, dog position. I don't remember. I haven't been in yoga in so long, but I'll probably put a picture here on what she's trying to do, which is really huge. So I really like those pajamas. They're perfect for stocking gifts. You can just, you know, fold it, put it in a stocking. Perfect gift. Item number six will be this Love to Dream swaddle. This swaddle essentially allows your baby to sleep with their arms up. What I noticed is that my baby she didn't like to sleep like this she liked to sleep like this i know a lot of people say not it's not that your baby doesn't like to be swaddled that you don't know how to swaddle them no every baby is different so learn what your baby likes don't force them to be swaddled because i remember when we were trying to swaddle her she would just cry like crazy she's not much of a crier so when i noticed her crying so like intensely i was like okay there's something wrong here um, so what I was doing was swaddling the bottom and just leaving her arms um, free. But that defeats kind of the purpose of swaddling your baby because you don't want to swaddle them just to be warm, but you want to swaddle them to avoid the, I think it's called the starter, starter reflex. I can't remember. I'll put it down below. Uh, where your baby has that like falling sensation and it wakes them up. So when I was Googling, I, I found this swaddle right here where... It essentially allows your baby to sleep like this so their little body goes here their arms go up here and then their feet in the bottom the cool thing the awesome thing about this swaddle is that it's a double zip up so it zips from here down and from down here up so whenever you're changing your baby and you have the swaddle and the pajamas on you can unzip down from the swaddle and unzip down from the pajama guys i don't know how much to stress this believe me it will save your life having two types of zippers um don't waste your time on the cute pajamas with the buttons like uh where you have to put one button on each don't waste your time on that trust me you will thank me later number seven will be these komotomo bottles I believe that's how you pronounce it. This will be the 8 ounce and this will be the 5 ounce bottle. These bottles were a must have for me. I know not every baby will like the same type of bottle. But what I liked about these bottles is that the nipple is very wide. I nursed my baby for the first 3 months after that she never took my nipple. We just struggle a lot with that so i switched to these actually i've used this from the beginning 
I tried some Avon bottles that I didn't like. But what I liked about these bottles is that it's soft here. It's silicone, so it's really soft to their touch. It prevents gas. It didn't give any types of gas for my baby. Like, she did not have gas. Gas was not in her dictionary. <laughs> so these bottles were really uh, essential. Um, you can buy a starter set, I believe. It comes two of the eight ounces and two of the five ounces. So you can give it a try. I believe it's 84 bucks, so it's more in the pricier side. Um, but it's definitely worth it. Another item in my must-have list, and I'm telling you guys, if you gift this to a future mom, you will be thanked forever. It will be a diaper bag that's more of a backpack looking type. This is my Skip Hop diaper bag. Not only is it super cute, but it is so spacious, guys. Um, I can fit... I will actually do a video on what's on my diaper bag because I can fit so much in here. It has saved me from a lot. I carry my home in this diaper bag. The cool thing about it, it's a backpack. So what I like is that when I put it on my back, I can just grab my baby. Like I won't be having to put like a purse. And like, uh, it was really cool. I will link it down below. I believe that's uh, olive colors, not available anymore. I love that olive color. Um, that diaper bag also goes around the stroller so you don't have to put it underneath the stroller It will take up space. So what you do is you just hang it on the stroller that backpack I believe is around a hundred dollars. It's more in the pricier side But I I'm telling you guys whoever you gift this to will thank you forever every um, mom that I um, Have seen this bag and tells me oh my god, how do you fit this much in your backpack? Believe me the backpack is just huge. You can carry diapers, you can carry bottles, you can carry snacks, you can carry so much. Extra clothes, really a lot. So I do recommend that backpack. If you want to see a video on what's in my diaper bag, just comment down below. Item that's on my essentials would be this Avent stir electric sterilizer. Uh, this was actually a gift from a, a good friend of mine. I personally like this much better than the microwave ones or the or the old-fashioned way which will be boiling everything um so it has two compartments so the top part and the bottom part where you can put the lids on top and the bottles in in the bottom the komotomo bottles are a little bit you'll see they're wider than the usual so i could fit four bottles or up to five bottles here instead of six regular bottles and all the nipples on the top it was really great it literally takes seven minutes to sterilize all your items so i really recommend it this runs for about 70 dollars i'm pretty sure you can get good deals on it right now because of um boxing day if you're a fellow canadian boxing day is coming up so look for all these items and you will see some really cool discounts Moving on to the last item from my essentials, it will be this Copper Pearl 5-in-1 cover. I don't know if you can see it here. Essentially what it is, is a car seat cover, a breastfeeding cover, a high chair cover, a scarf, whatever you want it to be, it will be. So here you can see the small part and then the larger part in the bottom. Uh, this is great to cover the car seat from wind and I found that <laughs> When you buy this you'll see you can actually wear it as a scarf. I don't know if I would it's kind of cute now that I think about it um, They have really cool designs for girls and boys. I Really really recommend this because not only do you can you cover your um Car seat you can cover yourself when you're pumping or you can cover yourself when you're breastfeeding not that you should but you could um you can do many things what i do when i go grocery shopping i put this in the middle and then i put my baby on top and that way she doesn't touch or lick everything because she likes licking everything so i have a lot of these they're really soft they're really elastic what i like about copper pearl is that all their items are elastic so if you're planning on swaddling your baby get their swaddles not only do their swaddles come with a little hat but also they are very stretchy so it's easier to swaddle your baby okay moving on to the final part of this video which will be five nice to have items but they're not 
must have so you will survive without them so don't worry about that the first item will be these copper pearl bibs i really really enjoy them only because of the design you can actually match it with whatever you buy from copper pearl but because of the uh, absorption of it so if you see here in the in the back it's really thick so if your baby has a lot of drooling or spit up or drops water on them or whatnot it will absorb the moisture and it won't get the shirt of your baby wet or anything like that because what i've experienced with other bibs is that whenever your baby's drooling a lot or has water or milk on their um bibs and it's soaked it will transfer onto their shirt which defeats the purpose of a bib the second item will be this bottle warmer right here the brand i believe is pronounced kindy or kind uh, it has a timer here, so you just add water, uh, then you drop the bottle on, on top, and then you just put the timer. After some time, you will get to know how much time you need to warm up the bottle precisely to the temperature that you like. Mine is usually uh, 9 minutes, so what I would do is drop the bottle here, put 9 minutes, and just go on with whatever I was doing. What I liked about this bottle warmer is that it has an entry here, so you can put a... Um, milk package that, that's been frozen into it and just uh, defrost it the third item will be the love very play gym i will show a picture right here uh, of the play gym that i currently have this play gym uh it was crucial for olivia's development uh it comes with a guide of everything that you have to do uh, to train kind of like your baby to develop new skills if you were a new mom like me uh, that was like lost on the milestones that they achieve in, in what month that love very play gym comes with a guide that will tell you okay month zero to three they should be doing this this is what you can play with them to kind of um encourage them to develop those skills i really really enjoy that uh that one runs for about 140 dollars american dollars uh it's pricier but believe me it will last you until they're probably 12 months. She still plays with that. She's eight months. She still plays with um, the gym. Uh, it's really cool because it's very interactive between her and I. So we play together. So yeah, I really recommend it. I did just subscribe to their play package, I believe, or play kit it's called. So it's essentially a package that comes every two months with different toys on what will um, encourage them to develop new skills depending on what month they're in so i'll give you guys a review on that one let me know if you guys want to have a review on the play gym also the fourth item will be the four moms play yard i believe it's called breeze plus i will show a picture here i don't currently have it right now it's on my mom but what i did was i had it in the main floor the play yard had not only the bottom part but the top part where you can change your baby and you can um put her to nap on whenever um, I think until they're 18 pounds, you can let them nap over the top and then you can move them to the bottom part. I really enjoy that. Um, it's more on the pricier side of play yards. I believe it's almost $300. Yeah. Um, what I like about that play yard is that it's really easy to travel with. It's compact. You can travel with it anywhere. Uh, right now we're going to the States um, this month. So we're going to bring that with us gonna be pretty cool because she will have her own bed essentially the fifth item which is more on the pricier side will be the four months mamaru that mamaru i've used it up until she was six months until she couldn't just be somewhere um but essentially what it does it rocks your baby so what i did was i just put her there with her soother or with her milk and she will just rock herself to sleep um it was good during the day but at night i don't rock my baby I, I didn't i try not to rock my baby because obviously they get dependent on that so during the day the mamaru was perfect because it allowed me to do things while my baby was being rocked by the chair um as i said none of these items are a must-have you will survive without them but they will be a nice to have if you can um splurge a little bit or if you're really uh, kind person you want to give this to a friend or a family member go right ahead believe me you will get some positive feedback so that's it for the newborns essential i hope you guys liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below what you like the most what you guys will purchase 
let me know what you guys would like to see next i'm really happy to hear all the positive comments from people um i will be doing another video on moms must have so future moms what will be the best gift to gift them because i know as a mom i know now what to gift other moms for their postpartum recovery just to feel good about themselves because you just pop the baby you want to feel good right so expect that video coming on next week thank you guys for watching as always and have a good day bye guys